Hello! Today we're going to make a gin cocktail called the White Lady, but we're going to use a buzz button and call it the Buzzed White Lady. What is a buzz button? It's a small edible yellow flower that gives your entire mouth kind of a buzzing, tingling, and numbing sensation. It's often used to enhance citrus flavors. I first found out about it at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas at their chandelier bar. They make a cocktail there called the Verbena and they serve it with a buzz button. I recreated this cocktail at home and that was actually one of my first and most popular videos on the channel. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I was so fascinated with these flowers, I started growing them at home. If you can't grow them at home, you can order them online. I had so many, I actually decided to infuse some gin with them. Normally, you just put them on the drink as a garnish, and some people have created foams with them. But I put about 40 of them in here, and it's been three days, so I'm going to see if I can make an egg white foam and kind of get some of that buzzing effect. And of course I'm going to garnish it with one, just because it looks nice and it's fun. I'm not really sure if this will work, if the effect will come through in the gin, but it's going to be really interesting to find out. And if it doesn't work, I have some more ideas to try later. Since this is an egg white cocktail, as usual, I'm going to crack my egg first because I, as you know from my other videos, I screw it up pretty much every time. This way I'm not messing up the entire drink. Next, I'm gonna strain my gin since it has some flour residue in it. It definitely changed the color of the gin, so this will probably be like a slightly yellow lady instead of a white lady, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll be worth the cool effect we get. So I'm going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters of the Buzz Button infused gin. And it was beef eater gin that I infused, by the way. Then we're going to do half an ounce or 15 milliliters of Cointreau. And I always use this in a white lady because it's the it's a clear orange liqueur and it keeps the drink looking really like bright white. Half an ounce of that. And I've already measured out half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now that we have our egg white and all of our ingredients, we're going to dry shake this. For about 15-20 seconds, you've got to give it a really good shake. And you have to be really careful because a lot of pressure builds up from the egg white and as you see it'll kind of pop out. That should be enough. I'm gonna put in a big rock to chill it without diluting it too much. Then we're gonna shake it again. just had this ice in here to keep my glass cold so we don't have a freezer outside. I'm gonna double strain this. I'm gonna garnish it with my buzz button and one of these little lemon twists. I kind of made a couple extras so I could use the one that kind of strikes my fancy at the time. I put my buzz button on with a little blue paper clip. I have a wide variety of these. I thought the small one looked the best on this and a little lemon twist on the side. So there we have it, our buzzed white lady. I'm gonna try this and see if this tingling effect actually works. It does work. It's not quite as drastic as when you bite directly into one of these, which I recommend trying because it makes everything taste kind of different. But yeah, this infusion definitely worked. And I tried this the other day with just plain gin, and I thought the flavor profile of this cocktail went really well with the buzz button effect. Let me know in the comments below if you've experienced these flowers and their effect. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, Hit that like button below and subscribe and hit the bell. Cheers from a buzzed white lady. Hello. I almost forgot. I need to report to you viewers what it tastes like to take a bite of the garnish and then have the drink. I wanted to take all of my pictures of it.
before I messed up the garnish, so let's let's see what happens. I mean, I know what happens. And like this foam and the infused gin, you get a light like tingling from it. It's pretty fun. All right. Now let's see when you bite into one of these things, it's more like a like a pop rocks, like burning almost. And then when I taste the drink again, I almost taste the gin and the citrus more than the the sweetness from the Cointreau. It's pretty cool and I highly recommend you try it. <laughs> 